everybody. This is Bob from Frank and Cooler. I'm out in my garage on another scorching afternoon in Arizona. It's 110 outside with high humidity. Inside the garage, it is probably not quite that hot. It is 108. Anyway, it is sweltering though. Like I said, the humidity is up. I'm with basically my latest creation. This is a dual blower blow box. Basically, it uses the blow box design, but unlike the one that I did a few weeks ago, basically this one uses multiple heat exchangers versus one. The one I made a few weeks ago averaged around 30 degree temperature differential between the air coming in and air going out, which isn't great, not for a blow box. I know if you buy an icy breeze or something like that, that's usually what you get and they'll advertise that. Uh, as being 30 degree temperature differential or better. So I expect better than that. And uh, this should do significantly better than that. Let's try it. Turn on the pump. Turn on the fan. The idea here was to come up with something hopefully with the same performance as a regular traditional dual blower Franken cooler cooler based unit only do it in a much simpler form something that's much quicker and easier to build easier for a person who maybe doesn't have super high mechanical aptitude to be able to tackle and ba uh, basically do it like in a in a weekend or even in a day and uh, this is you know very very much simplified over what you do if you were doing the same design in a cooler based unit Looks like we're at 54, which is uh, pretty darn good. I'm standing in front of it, and it feels like I'm in front of an air conditioner. So I would say it's effective. It can be mounted to the top of the cooler. I don't have this one permanently mounted, but running a couple or, or three or four uh, screws into the top through the lip would make this an a all-in-one unit. Right now I've got it separate. You can see it has umbilical lines coming out of the back quick release um, hose type connection so you can do it with your hands you don't need a screwdriver or anything and basically you can use this in a remote situation like my smaller blow boxes or again you can just permanently mount it to the top of the cooler and make it all in one so that's it it's called the blow box twin and what you see in front of you is representative of what I'm going to be offering in a component package for this and that would include the large battery box the battery box on top will hold uh, all the way up to a 15 amp hour battery I've got a 12 my 12 in there right now with plenty of room left over I do not have the semi rigid aluminum outflow tubes on the front that you see most of my units have I have a couple of screens in place but I probably will offer this with the two um, outflow tubes which will expand up to 24 inch, there'll be two of them. So you can basically aim the air where you want it, which is a nice feature. I didn't put them on here just because I didn't have time and, and uh, it was just easier doing it this way for this video. So anyway, there you have it, the Blowbox Twin.